In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. That is a most appropriate greeting for our celebration this Sunday. It's the Feast of the Most Holy Trinity. And that greeting, indeed, is part of our reading from the second letter to the Corinthians. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit. Celebrating the, uh, the Holy Trinity is uh, it's good for us these days because it's good for us to be more sensitive to the presence of our God in our world, in our own pilgrimages through life, in our own parish community these COVID-19 days. And when we reflect on our gracious God, we realize that uh, our God is a God who travels with us. The first reading from the book of Exodus, Moses goes up the mountain, the Lord descends from heaven, and they have a conflict. They chat on Mount Sinai. God reveals God's self as mercy and love. In the gospel, Jesus is uh, very, very insistent that our God so loved the world that he gave Jesus, his only son, not to condemn the world, but to save the world. And our reminder from last week, Pentecost Sunday, Jesus breathed on us the Holy Spirit. Our God is a God who travels with us, and our God is a God who forgives us over and over and over again. And so we ask pardon. Lord Jesus, you reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pro profess our faith as we uh, pray the beautiful prayer of adoration. Glory to God in the highest. And, and on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And so we pray. O oh, Heavenly Father, you sent into the world your Son Jesus, the Word of Truth, and the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Holiness and Sanctification. You made known to all of us, the human race, the wonderful mystery of your being. So we ask that we may always profess the true faith, that we may acknowledge you in the three persons of the Trinity, and that we may adore and obey you in the unity of your being. And we pray this, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Your reading 
from the book of Exodus. Moses rose early in the morning and went up on Mount Sinai as the Lord had commanded him and took in his hand the two tablets of stone. The Lord descended in the cloud and stood with him there and proclaimed the name the Lord. The Lord passed before Moses and proclaimed the Lord, the Lord, the God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. And Moses quickly bowed his head toward the earth and worshipped. He said, If now I have found favor in your sight, O Lord, I pray, let the Lord go with us. Although this is a stiff-necked people, pardon our iniquity and our sin, and take us for your inheritance. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory and praise forever. Glory, Glory and, and praise forever. forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our ancestors, and blessed is your glorious and holy name. Glory, Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, and to be extolled and highly glorified forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, and to be extolled and highly exalted forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne on the cherub. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven to be sung and glorified forever. Glory and praise forever. Second letter to Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, put things in order. Listen to my appeal. Agree with one another. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the saints greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Son of God. 
the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. At a Confirmation Mass, the Archbishop asks the children for a definition of the Holy Trinity. A girl answered very softly, The Holy Trinity is three persons in one God. The Archbishop, who was rather old and almost deaf, replied, I didn't understand what you said. And the young theologian standing in front of him replied, Well, Your Excellency, you are not supposed to. The Trinity is a mystery. Nobody understands it. Brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the wonderful solemnity of the most holy trinity the trinity is a mystery and a mystery is precisely something that one does not fully understand this does not mean that we are unable to experience it though trinitarian language may cloud our eyes and blur our vision when trying to comprehend the Trinity. But having said this, brothers and sisters, something very positive is being communicated in the language of Trinity, and that is love. This positive also comes out in our three readings this weekend. The readings unfold to allow us to experience the love of the Trinity. The law passed before Moses and proclaimed, The Lord a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. In our second reading, St. Paul appeals to the people of Corinth to love, pleading with them to agree with one another, to live in peace, and to greet one another with a holy kiss. The Gospel today, Jesus speaks to Nicodemus saying, God so loved the world that he gave his only son to this world. God names himself as a loving, peaceful and merciful God in all three forms. On this Trinity Sunday, affirming the truth that Good things come in threes. We recognize God as power, the Father. God as person, the Son. And God as presence, the Holy Spirit. There are many instances in our scripture when Father, Son and Holy Spirit are present. At the Annunciation, God the Father sent his angel to Mary. God the Holy Spirit come upon her. The power of the Most High overshadows her. And God the Son becomes incarnate into her womb. At the baptism of Jesus, when the Son receives baptism from John the Baptist, the Father's voice is heard and the Holy Spirit appears as a dove. At the Ascension, Jesus gives the missionary command to his disciples to baptize those who believe in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In our practice of Christian life, the Trinity is remembered often in prayer and during our daily routine. Each time we make the sign of the cross, as we did at the beginning of this celebration, we say, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. At the Holy Mass, the priest begins the celebration of the sacrifice in the name of the Trinity, and concludes the Holy Mass with a solemn blessing, again, in the name of the Holy Trinity. 
In our celebration of our sacrament, we find references to the presence of the Blessed Trinity. Confirmation, penance, anointing of the sick, holy orders and matrimony. In our liturgies, funeral, vigil, holy hours and every liturgical celebration, the Holy Trinity is mentioned and is such a powerful and defining part of our Christian faith. I would like to conclude by sharing with you a favorite prayer of St. Francis of Assisi. Most Holy Trinity, who live in me, I praise you, I worship you, I adore you, and I love you. Let the Son lead us to the Father through the Spirit. Brothers and sisters, this is in this moment of time that we are in. Let us pray. Triune God, lift the coronavirus from the world and give us the love and strength to stand for justice across the globe. Amen. And so we profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And so we go to our gracious God with our needs and prayers. For the Church, that all who are baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit may proclaim the good news in their words and deeds. For every person living on earth, that they may come to understand that they are and that they always will be loved by God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. For all who are oppressed because of race, and for those whose prejudice wounds and oppresses them. For these intentions we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That medical and healthcare workers might continue to find strength in their common vocation of protecting and saving lives during this COVID-19 days. For the vulnerable and for the elderly in long-term care homes, living in great fear and trepidation, and for the devoted women and men who care for them. For the graces of politeness, responsibility, and self-control on the part of our fellow citizens, all virtues necessary to follow protocols and respect the common good during this COVID-19 pandemic. For these intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our countries in <laughs> Southern Africa, who must now deal with COVID-19 along with extreme poverty, famine, plagues of locusts, and often the violence stemming from different parties fighting for power. For those families in the parish dealing with a brokenness that comes from sickness, uncertainty, conflict, and increasing financial insecurity. And for the prayer intentions deep within our hearts. 
For these intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O gracious God, hear these prayers. We place them before you through your Son and our brother, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we've received this bread that we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, blessed be God forever. For and blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we've received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice to our hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all God's holy church. O Lord our God, we ask you to make holy this offering of our service. Through this offering, make of us an eternal offering to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's, it's truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, now and at all times, to give you thanks, Father, almighty and eternal God. For with Jesus, your only begotten Son, and with the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one being. For what you reveal to us of your glory, we believe also of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We ask for the grace that we may always confess the true and eternal nature of the Trinity, that uh, you might be endured adored in each person and that obeyed in the unity of your being and uh, for this with the angels and the archangels and and the saints who always exclaim each day with one voice holy holy holy, holy, holy lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. And in a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be here in your presence to serve you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Spread, uh, bring us to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, the Bishop of Rome, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all who serve in your church. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. In a special way, remember parishioners who have died over these last three or four months. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Joseph, her husband, with the apostles, and with all of the saints who have done your will throughout the ages, that we may become co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. And through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And at Jesus' command, informed by the teaching of the gospel, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, in heaven hallowed be thy name, name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Ghost, now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but look on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. And we extend our peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Since you are children of God, God has sent into our hearts the spirit of his Son, the spirit who cries out, Abba, Father. And so we pray. O oh, gracious God, we ask that this Eucharist might give us the grace of health, health of body and health of soul, so that we might confess the eternal Holy Trinity and undivided unity. And we pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go and proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And it's a, it's a privilege and honor always to celebrate here at the altar for St. Kevin's and St. Kevin's Parish. A special thank you to Father Sunil for his homily and for Father B.J., who didn't do very much, but he does it very well. And we ask that the grace for members of the parish as we continue our special pilgrimage in these COVID-19 days. Thank you. 